The ECOWAS member states have expressed worries over the worsening effect of food and nutritional situation due to the rising cost of fertilizer that has resulted in the shortfall of grains in the sub-region. ECOWAS Commissioner for Agriculture, Environment and Water Resources, Seko Sangari, made the expression during his presentation at the ongoing 2022 first ordinary session of the ECOWAS Parliament in Abuja. He said the negative effect of the Russia and Ukraine conflict has extremely heightened the price of food as they are the major suppliers of fertilizer, wheat, maize, and edible oil, hence, urging for stringent action to deal with the nutritional threat in the region. Statistics show that in 2020 2021, there is an increase in the price of mineral fertilizers as the price of natural gas tripled from $300 ton to more than $900 ton since the wake of the Russia and Ukraine crisis, while potash and sulfate fertilizers and NPK prices exceed $850 ton. The expert opined that with the hike in prices, subsidizing fertilizers is crucial, especially as their consumption has doubled in the region that supports agricultural production. According to Seku, the low availability of fertilizer on the market has brought severe limits to access to fertilizers among farmers. Adding that such an instance could lead to a drop of 15 to 20 million tons of greens production in the region. He therefore called for cogent policies to address the low local food production, scarcity of food, and availability of fertilizer to enhance farming in the ECOA state. One of the major problems which is facing us urgently is the problem of fertilizers. Farmers are encountering difficulties to find fertilizers. We are recommending strongly that we pay particular attention to this situation, which is worsening the rainy situation that is being pictured by the food insecurity map in our region. We are facing about 40 million people who are living in extremely harsh conditions. The price of urea has been rising about threefold between June 2020 and June 2022, that is from $300 ton to more than 300 and it's the same situation for every kind of fertilizer. So that today in our region, we are assessing that is 1.5 million or 2 million of, uh, let's say, fertilizer that is needed, and that corresponds roughly to 15 to 20 ton equivalent, which is lacking if more efforts are not made in this particular area. Meanwhile, in their contributions, Members of the parliament decried the rate at which farmers in the region have been neglected over access to seeds and fertilizers despite having the largest company that exports 80% of this product to Latin America. So was calling on ECOWAS to mainstream them so as to support agricultural farmers in the region. There's a group of manufacturers in the ECOWAS region, Dangote Group, Indoroma and OCP groups who are producing fertilizer. But 80% of those fertilizers are exported to Latin America. Why can't we, as a region, get in touch with this group that are producing fertilizer in our ECOWAS region to support our agricultural farmers than depending on Ukraine and Russia? We don't know when this war will end. Mr. Speaker, I want the Commission to tell us whether we can get this group of producers in the ECOWAS region giving us fertilizer instead of exporting it to Latin America. The problem that we have and which is the major factor in the fall in agricultural production 
is shortage of quality seeds. As of today, we import seeds from Europe or from European institutions that produce seeds to sell to us. For as long as we do not take control of the production of seeds, this decrease in production that will be the consequence or so inevitable consequence. Also speaking, the Commissioner for Agriculture, Sebo Sangari, called on member states to urgently mobilize financial resources in order to boost the availability of food and at curbing food insecurity projected in June to August 2022. Adding that, there is a need to maintain a constant dialogue with partners who are committed to provide the countries with financial assistance so as to achieve the desired West Africa future. My wish is that the implementation of this in regional initiative should be accompanied by the endorsement by ECOWAS and that the declaration of a special summit of heads of state and government of the African Union that was adopted here in Abuja on 13 June 2006. That declaration, what, what does it contain? What does it say? That fertilizes whatever the source, whether organic or non-organic or chemical, should be considered as product, strategic project without borders. That is no longer the case today. And at the same time, that declaration of 26, 2006 states that with immediate effect, member states of the African Union, including ECOWAS, should improve access of farmers to fertilizers. And then granting them subsidies with support from our development partners and emphasizing farmers, especially those who don't have the means. And the same declaration states that the member states of AU and then the regional economic uh, com commissions should uh, take necessary steps to bring down prices regionally and nationally thanks to the harmonization of policies and also of regulations to ensure that fertilizers can, fertilizers can circulate free of tax. According to the June 13, 2006 declaration by the head of state and government of the African Union, ECOWAS member states are expected to see fertilizer as a borderless product devoid of dumberage, hence making it a free movement of agricultural inputs to facilitate farming in the region. Vincent Okushi, QTV News, Abuja.